Okay, so the next lesson class is about the traffic light sequence and it actually follows a very similar format to a flowchart in that it repeats itself constantly. I've used these four images of different traffic lights in sequence and I've used the coding RAG for each one to show red, amber and green as which light is illuminated in which sequence. Now I don't have an amber colour pen so I'm going to have to use well, just black for that, I'm afraid. But I have coloured in the red light on the first traffic light to show you that this light is currently at stop. Now, Mrs. Boone is operating the camera. Can you tell me what the next sequence is in a British traffic light after red? It's red and amber. Red and amber. Very good, Mrs. Boone. It's red and amber. Okay? The two lights come on simultaneously. And that is... If you don't believe us, you're going to have to have a look carefully at a traffic light next time you're out. So, red, followed by red and amber. The next sequence, Mrs. Boo, is correct, green, followed by green. Okay, now green will stay on and allow traffic to flow, and after a period of time, the next light will be amber. Amber only. Okay, very good. We've correctly identified the sequence. So, in a flowchart, we would draw arrows between each of these. And at the last one, because we've seen this before in our previous lesson, we could have a loop back to the start to make the sequence run endlessly. So, we could start it at any point. We could start our flowchart at green, to amber, to red, red and amber, to green and so on.